welcome back to green hell mode and man i have got so much junk in this cave uh, look I, I built one of the water dealies so we got that look at all the ready-made soups i've got i've just got tons of it laying around here so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna drink a little bit of that malanganaga soup and um i know that's not how you pronounce it um it's fine though because look we got everything all we need is a little bit of meat stuff but i you know look I'm, I'm carrying around smoked capybara meat that's going to help me with the fats and protein so we'll eat some of that and look how close to full we are that's just great and it's early morning i've got stick stands over here and oh so we'll put a little uh, some sticks there because we're going to gather some more and I, I don't know you know this is this is really nicely pointed look at how many freaking bandages and brazil nuts and shells and feathers and Man, I've got it all here. This is just the perfect little place. And as long as a puma doesn't, like, spawn in here, uh, I'm pretty well secured. So I like this place so, so much. But it's still, it's raining. We're in the rainy season now, clearly, guys. It's been raining for days. Look at this. Another, another freaking thingy. Um, what dildo thing. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a big, like, dildo-looking thing. And so, but we dropped it on the ground, and now we're gonna have to sterilize it before usage, and that's fine. That's how you do that. But we're gonna go pick it up, right? That's we don't want to just leave it laying around there for just children to come and find it. We're gonna pick up all this stuff, though not the rocks, but just the sticks. Because why do I need sticks? Uh, I, oh my God! See, somebody's shooting an arrow at me. That we don't like that. We do not like that. So what? Okay, what's your deal, dude? No, 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 no. Don't be making those noises at me. Alright, his buddy is going to start leaving me a bunch of arrows. I should probably go back into my cave so I'm a little safer. Oh, crap! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's run right back into the cave. Get, oh, get to my safety zone here. I have to come quite a ways in. So they can't follow me. And did he hit me? Or do I just have... What? What is your deal, man? Don't throw rocks. Ah! Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Got me with the rock. All right. Well, whatever. Let's come back in here. You can just kind of tuck in over in here. And they can't get me. Let's check. I think I probably just got leeches. Well, we got the one injury for sure. Yeah. And I do have freaking four leeches trying to get a free ride on some some body part I hope I don't have to pull down my pants to find them there we go okay good that's fine okay uh, how's our arrow situation 12 arrows all right we're fine we're fine we'll we'll make do and we got birds going crazy out oh my god you stop what the hell no, 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 no. All right, well, hopefully we've got bandages. You think we got bandages, guys? I think we're okay on the bandages. All right. Now, to deal with his buddy with the shooting arrows, that is going to be much easier, I think, than dealing with this guy. Although, I, you know, I've just been a little bit smarter. Every, what the hell? I don't want to have to harvest him because look, look at all these freaking bones. And I've already carried a ton of the bones from in the entryway here deeper into the cave and put them by the fire. But, um, all right, what the hell? I wish it was an easier way to just, you know, like select a loot option instead of just a harvest option. That, that really, really is something that I think needs to be implemented in the game. So you don't always have to harvest up these guys, but I'm going to drop all these bones here. Because why not? There's a freaking million bones here already. And then we're going to drop his meat. Because we don't need that either. And now, give me back my freaking arrows. That's all we really wanted from that guy. I mean, destroy the stick blades. Always destroy your stick blades. Because they're just garbage, guys. There's no point. All right, where's the where's the archer? Is he still over here somewhere? There he is. Oh, damn! 
Damn, damn, damn. I thought I was going to make it behind the tree, but I didn't. Okay, now, here. Just shoot more arrows into the tree, and I'll pick them up later. So I'm just waiting for my injury to heal. How's our, uh, how's our health situation? Like, I need fats. That's all I need. Well, you know, there's a tree right over here that supplies Brazil nuts. And Brazil nuts are, like, the premier source of quick fat. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It hurts, did it? <laughs> Goodbye. So, bunch of arrows. That's great. We can leave most of these here. But I'm going to get a few of them. There's 15 and... Ah! I might as well harvest them. I just hate taking the time to do this because it takes a while to do the harvest and then it takes a while again to... Oh, come on, pick up the freaking arrows. Just grab them. And it takes a while to go through and drop your freaking bones and all that stuff. And... Yeah, but I have to. I have to get rid of this garbage. So, I want to find another Brazil nut here. If if I can. Let me see. Have they respawned any Brazil nuts? That's, yes, good. See, that's great. So, we're going to eat that Brazil nut right now. This hard as that. And munch on that, and fantastic. We're doing great. All right, so what do we need to do, though? I need to go look. Another freaking dildo plant. All right, I'm just, it's hard to pass those up, guys. Really, you know, a, a big dildo is hard to just bypass. But we have to. We have to because we're on still on a turtle hunt, and this plant doesn't, I must have harvested that already. But this one, I haven't harvested. Let's get this. Not the feather. This. The fruits. We'll eat one of them. Okay. And wait, there's a bird. I don't need that bird. I mean, I'm good on everything. I just want a turtle shell to take with me. Because I think we're done here. I think I'm done here. I want to go elsewhere. But not without a turtle. Uh... But... I don't see any turtles. Damn it. Well, I'm, I'm sorely disappointed. Because we really do need all the turtles. Oh, well, that's not a turtle. Alright, get out of there. Let's eat one of these. It's been a while since I've eaten those. Alright, now, over here. Where's the freaking turtle spawns? Not, like, up in the forest area, I don't think. Oh, wow, but there's this. That thing right there needs to come down. Ah. How can I miss from this range? I don't know. I probably ricocheted off of a bamboo <laughs> thing, but all right, that's now that's down. I'm probably going to get rashed up here, but let's get that honeycomb. Let's go. Back to the beach and the turtle hunt. I just, I so love the turtle shells that I've become obsessed. But if we don't find one forthwith, we still just bail. I really just wanted to get one to take with us, but that may not be something that we're going to be able to do. So, yeah, damn turtles. They're all in stealth mode today. All right, well, 
I mean, what are you going to do? You know, if there, there are no turtles around, then there's, you know, no turtles around. It's kind of a tautology, guys. All right, but off we go. We're going to get the heck out of here. We love our, our little dock area because it's got all kinds of good stuff. You know, I've got, I just got piles and piles and piles of things. And, oh, tobacco leaf. Let's craft this because I did, when I was running around on my own just doing stuff, I got by, bit by snakes like four times. It was ridiculous. And um, I never did deal with the fever aspect of it. I'd, I'd get the wound bandage because I didn't have enough health to just endure it and maybe get a little bit of immunity going or anything. But um, that's got cassava soup in it. I would like to get... I don't need it, though, right now. Let's just drink some water. Wait, i got so many coconut shells. All right, we'll take one of them with us because I accidentally picked it up, so that's my excuse for taking that. Um, but I don't really need anything else from around here, I don't think. I mean, we've got little freaking angelfish here. They'll just make me throw up, and we're not going to... I don't want to throw up. It's one of those things about me, guys. Both in game and in real life, not a real fan of vomit. You know, mine or other people's. There's no, but look, there's logs here. Whoa. Okay. Look, I wanted to get out of here, and now where are we? We're right back here. Here, just drop the logs and go. Just go. When I was thinking about going after another black Cayman, um, maybe we can do that and then zip across to the. To the um, yeah, let's do that. We'll look for a black caiman because you know what could possibly go wrong. And then we'll zip across to the drug lab, and then from the drug lab, who knows where we're gonna go? I really kind of want to get back to the mighty camp area, and but from here I don't remember like a direct way to get there. Like if maybe we go. I don't know, maybe we'll just do some overland travel exploration type stuff. But look at all this freaking Molinadia leaf everywhere. Here, this is really hard to pass up, guys. I'm sorry, but you know how often I get injured, and it's not in my nature to pass up the, uh, the bandage plants too often. Well, I'm not seeing a caiman. But then again, I rarely see them before they see me and start heading my way. Well, we can check the shoreline. Oh, this is now starting to feel. The closer I get to the shore, the worse this idea is starting to seem to me. Okay, okay. Let's just go this way. And there's just too many trees and roots and underbrush and stuff. And, oh, I'm getting so freaking nervous. Oh, I don't like these tight areas either. All right, let's go through here, get bit by a snake or something, and then eaten by a caiman. All right, that's the order of things. That's the rook order of things. <laughs> get, get poisoned and dehydrated and and then the bad guys show up <gasps> but no the bad guys are already here and we're not yet poisoned what where are they okay they're over there you know what they can just stay there I don't care I don't care about those guys Um, is there? <gasps> there it is. There it is. Oh, you are bad. I don't like that guy. And now the bow. Oh, cool. How about that, guys? Did you see that? Three shots. I used my obsidian spear and then two arrow shots. And am I just that good? Yes, that's that's the explanation, guys. I am just that. Look how big it is, too. 
It's big and fat and yummy. We let's eat it, but not raw. Don't eat them raw. That's I'm just saying. Wow, this these guys they're scary as hell. If they if they catch you unawares, then that's bad. It's super bad. And but you know if you see them first and have a little bit of room to maneuver, no, nah, they're not bad at all. Not bad. It's just the underbrush and stuff. So finding one in an area like this, ideal. That was ideal. Finding one in the underbrush is not really as ideal because, let's face it, guys, probably it's not going to be you finding it. It's going to be it finding you, and then that's that. The game is over. The jig is up. The deed is done. And many other platitudes or... Or just common phrases. I, I don't know. What are, what are those kind of phrases called? Idioms? No. I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, we've got that caiman meat on us and we want to eat it. So, And I've got a dildo that I really want to do things with. And you guys don't need to know all the details about everything in my life. Let's just go and let's get some fruit. And if we are heading, let's eat this. Let's just eat it because I don't have any room for anything right now. And we're going to go... Which direction are we facing? East. All right. Let's go that way then. Why not? We're going to the drug lab. You know we are, right? That's the... That's the direction we're facing, and that's what's in that direction. But here's a road. We can follow the road now. Wait, oh, look at that alarmadillo. And it didn't set off its alarm. That's odd. I'm, I'm unused to that. But where... Wait, what is happening here? I should be seeing the drug lab by now, right? Am I am I totally off base here? This This is bamboo. That that was an observation, guys. You know, I I I, I am aware of this stuff. What what is where are we though? I don't know. Are we even going East? No, we've been going south this whole time, right? Where am I? Uh, what now? I don't know. I forget. Oh, duh! There's the drug lab right over there. It's just it's rainy, guys. Okay, don't judge me. Right? It's, it was rainy and I didn't see it because of the raininess. That's all. But here it is. And this is a really nice camp for us, too. It's got all kinds of amenities. Lovely sleeping quarters. Well, not really so lovely, but, you know, everything is relative. Okay? This is the Amazon rainforest and it's green hell. So, if you find a mattress, you call that, a, you know, a, like, palatial type sleeping arrangement. And we'll put some of that there. And we're going to craft up some more bandages. Uh, I feel so much safer in this area than wandering around in the wilds. But, see, in this place, I don't think I have, I mean, clearly, I don't have a stack of bandages here. But we're going to make one. Because that's now my goal. In this playthrough, I'm going to set up every spot. All of my camp spots are going to have lots and lots of bandages and extra herbs and food and all kinds of goodies. So that we can go there like, and just it'll be a little retreat for us. Kind of a spa. You know, you go there and they've got all the scented oils and candles and stuff. And well, all right, well, maybe we're not going to have candles and oils, but... Um, or anybody to massage us, which is a pity, because, you know, I'd hire one of those natives. They, they're, 
you know, they look like they're in pretty good shape, and they could probably give you a good deep, deep muscle massage thingy, but, all right, we're not going to, I can only even speak the language, so how am I going to, you know, how do you sign language to a native, hey, you want to massage me? I'll pay you for it. That, that might come across wrong, I'm thinking, you know, no matter what kind of gestures you make to indicate that kind of thing, they could very likely be taken the wrong way. Just saying, you know, use your imagination, guys. But let's go make a fire. Let's go make a fire. We're here. It's late in the day. We go, oh, my God, we've got all these walls to make, too. Yes, we do. And over here, we need... We need a fire, like, ring. We need a fire ring. Yes, of course we do. How silly of us not to have built a fire ring here. Let's do that. Let's just find some rocks. There's got to be some stones around here, right? There's always stones around here. Um, yeah, like this one, right there. And Molinadia, at least. Look at that. But, did I already start bringing stones over here? That is a question that needs to be answered. And it does not look like I've even started thinking about that. We got wood resin and, oh, dry palm leaf like crazy. And there's a vagina that's, now that one's probably spoiled, guys. You know, yeah, I, can, I can tell by the smell. But, guys, look, look, look. Don't be judgmental, and don't go around sniffing people's vaginas just to find out if they've gone bad on them. That's rude. We don't like that kind of behavior around these parts, or anywhere, really. Um, but I do like the idea of having a stone ring and a fire and all that, but there's no way I'm going to find another 11 stones or however many I need in, in any kind of reasonable time frame. And the weird thing is out here, look, I cleared so much of this... Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember last time when we were out here? Let's eat that. Um, I can't. I don't have any room for it. I've got to make a fire. But do you remember a few videos ago, we were out here, and then we had these freaking guys squatting all over our stuff, and we couldn't get to it to make that. That's what happened here. But now they're gone. They're not sitting on my stuff anymore. So all the, like, oh, I cleared out all those, um, those palm... Uh, bamboo, bamboo, uh, and it, unfortunately, it didn't. It hasn't grown back, but at least now we can get to those bamboo. Uh, well, I thought that was a stone, but it's not really. Um, and what? And this is a long stick. I don't really need that at the moment, but I know it's there. And there's an arrow right there. We do need those. Let's go over here and get this stuff. And I wish I could really just focus on one thing at a time. But you know me by now. If you've watched any of my videos, you know. My attention span is like, okay, what were we talking about? All right, look, we're going to build this stuff over here. And, oh, oh, yeah, attention span. Look, when I get busy with this, look, we got one wall section completely done. I'm, I think we'll be able, I don't know if there's going to be enough stuff already cut down. We're probably going to have to, oh, look, there's this. Yeah, so I, I like to have a little extra tobacco leaf um, laying around. Um, but, you know, who wouldn't? Let's go over here and get some more of these things. So, um, I was saying something about attention spans. And the, the point is, like, when I'm... Okay, I'm, I'm still focused on getting these walls built. We're a little bit heavy right now. I think I need to drop some stuff. So, I, I'm able to stay focused on at least the primary task because I know that we're it's just things I get distracted guys I get distracted but well, I need sticks and stuff too and we need to make a fire and but we're gonna just you know if we can complete a few of these wall sections I'll pre feel pretty good about that let's grab some of these things and just laying around out here okay good Small sticks, good. Uh, long stick, you know. Let's just pick it up and put it over here somewhere. So if we need it, we know it's like close at hand. 
But, all right, so, well, clearly, um, I can't really build a fire ring, but we can do a small fire, and uh, just we'll worry about the ring later. Get that up and running. And then we can smoke up this meat. We can have a meal and do all that good stuff. Let's, let's get our... Uh, look at, see, look at all this stuff I'm carrying around here. And most of it is edible. I just need to find some dry leaf. Yeah, I think we have just enough energy for this. Yeah, yes. We have yes. a little bit of extra energy, in fact. All right, so that's good. And look, we've got lots of meat soups and stuff over here, too. And some... Yeah, we got some bowls filled with waters. Well, water. Uh, it's probably only one type. Well, okay, there's two different types of water in, in this game. You know, dirty and clean. And the, the dirty water... Hey, yeah, like, oh my god, get away from me, dude. Where is he? Oh, you're over there, huh? You can't throw rocks through that. <laughs> oh, but... He probably can attack me through the wall. Oh, but look at this. Ah, oh, damn you. All right, dude... I've had it with these guys attack me through my bamboo. Ah, but it worked. I mean, if I hadn't been an idiot and stepped right up into his attack, things would have been gone, gone a little bit better for us. But here, let's eat some stuff. Um, this. You know, I'm going to eat that armadillo. And what, how, what do we need? Really, probably just water. No, we need it. A little bit of fat and carbs and stuff too. So let's eat, drink this, and uh, harvest that coconut. Eat that. Oh, I should have been bandaging this whole time. What am I thinking? I got an injury. Let's get a bandage on that. Just do a leaf bandage. So just don't care. go and this we're gonna eat that and it'll collect water for us good now where's our archer friend there you are over there have you been shooting arrows at my shelter leaving me arrows yes that's lovely thank you for that have a lot of energy to be doing this kind of stuff right now, but it's fine. They're dead. See? And all the arrows. We like that so much. Thank you for leaving me all those arrows. Now, back to this. We've got our lovely bamboo smoker. I love the bamboo smoker. You know, you, you can smoke four things at once, and that means black caiman meat, black caiman meat, and more black caiman meat. Good. Do I have a turtle shell out here? No, I don't. Damn it, damn it, damn it. All right, well, whatever. We're going to... And I don't have the pot. I moved the pot from this location, and I didn't bring a turtle shell here. Damn, that's... That makes me sad. Because we've got this dildo that's going to go bad if we don't cook it. I've got a day and a half on it. Um... These honeycombs, do they never go bad? It seems like it doesn't have a decay timer on it. It doesn't, right? Oh, my God, we've got four black caiman meat? That was a big fat caiman, wasn't it? Yes, it sure was. Um, here, let's get the right part of the backpack, and we're going to... Not maggots. Come on. The black caiman meat. Put that in there. Gotta, all right, we're going to just do this. We're just going to do it. It seems like a waste, but whatever. You know, it's not like we're having a difficult time getting food. But this honeycomb is so big. I'm going to eat that whenever we need it. Which is going to be pretty soon. But for now, we're going to eat these because they do go bad. And we're going to say thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please smash the like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite. We will talk with all of you again very, very soon. Look at this guy. Look at him just hanging through the wall. Eh. He's dead now.